Yo, what's going on everybody? Steven Bear King here with our uh, new episode of Mario Kart 8 Online. Uh, looks like we just hop into a lobby that's not uh, completely full, but it looks like it's got a couple of decent racers. So, uh, it's been a while since my last Mario Kart 8 Online video because we've been working on the walkthrough. And as you guys noticed, my score up there was uh, 2,800, which is a pretty decent score. If you ask me, I didn't get the best boost right there, but that's okay. But it's a pretty decent score. Not the best, but not bad. And so that's how you can tell that I've been playing a good amount of Mario Kart 8 online. And hopefully we'll be doing a good performance for you guys today. So far we're doing alright. Should have grabbed those points. Didn't quite make it. We'll grab these ones right here. Here comes a red shell. Maybe not. So again, this lobby's not full right at this moment. So not completely uh, uh, the craziness that would usually be going on when you're racing with the complete uh, 12 players. But we'll try to make it as exciting as we can. It's gonna right now look like a part of our walkthrough where we're just playing computers and not erasing in the first place all the time. But I guarantee some drama at some point in this series. This is only episode 5 of my Mario Kart 8 series. Um, we had a lot of things going on. We had to wait for the Elgato game capture device to come so that way we could throw the webcam in on the top right, as you guys can see. Uh, that way you can stare at my pretty mug while I go and put the stomp on some of these cats here online and some of the cats will be putting the stomp on me at some point. I'm sure of that. Trust me, I've uh, making it look easy right here, but I've lost a good amount of races online, not gonna lie. But uh, the reason that I had to play, I mean, come on, it's Mario Kart. Uh, I wanted to do as much on camera for you guys as I possibly could, but we were working on the walkthrough. I have two friends in real life who have a Wii U and have Mario Kart 8, and we've played, you know, five or six sessions just um, with all of us online and open lobby. They play on regional a lot. I like to play on worldwide just because um, that's where I feel like you're going to find all of the best Mario Kart players from around the world want a chance to race against them, you'll probably have to race worldwide. Not saying that there's not going to be a lot of good Mario Kart racers just in the regional, because regional for me is going to be, you know, basically all of the Americas. So you got Canada, uh, Mexico, United States, South America, all that. Oh, oh we were on the third lap there, and I <laughs> got hit by the red, sh red shell right at the finish line. Luckily, we were able to maintain it. Um, hopefully the lobby will fill up a little bit more so that the races can be a little bit more exciting. But I'm not going to complain about a win. A win is a win. And we're going to try to do um, at least four races, if not more. Probably try to do a little bit more just because... Um, okay, here we go. Now we got some people in the lobby. Hello. Welcome. Good luck. So all of that's going on, which is great. Some more racers. Perfect, perfect, perfect. My screen's gone black, but as I've noted before, as I look back, the screen's not black for you guys. It's just my TV either going on the fritz or the game capture device causing my TV to go black every once in a while, but not a big deal, as I've mentioned. Got the game pad showing the exact same thing my TV's showing, so I can look at either one of them. Um, let's see. So the lobby's cool, but I didn't see that many um, really high-rated racers. I only glanced at it for a second day because I was checking the video and everything, but it didn't seem like there was a lot of high-rated racers in the room. So we'll see what happens. Oh, well, if I would have pulled my green shell out in time, then I would have it. Um, but like I said, the rating doesn't, the rating doesn't mean everything guys can be perfectly good racers. We gotta, we gotta give them the same respect as we would anybody else. Oh, I'm hitting the walls. Not good. Uh, doesn't seem like they're holding items behind them, so let's go ahead and try to 
get ourselves at least one position. Okay, we both got a mushroom. Oh wow, blew that, but still managed to pull up a little bit. Would have been better if we wouldn't have hit that post. I'm getting the boost that I should off of those jumps, which is going to cost me if just grab one of these guys, that would be nice, or at least the item before we get to the items, no. So not only did that item not help us too much, but it also made us miss getting another item, but we've pulled ourselves back in the first place for now. Second, oh, we got the jet stream off of me, good, good race, good move. Stayed behind me long enough. Oh, and that guy's got a red shell. I should have took a different route from him. He's hitting the walls a lot, though. He doesn't even look like a professional. Get rid of his red shell. There we go. That worked. Oh, no. Didn't, didn't stop him. Okay, so that's not, not too good. It's going to be hard to catch up because he seems to be moving quite quickly. Oh, both trying to hit him with red shells, and we just can't seem to stop that guy. He keeps flying off the edge. It must, be, it must be lag. That must be what's going on. I'm seeing this guy flying off the off of the course, and then he's right back in front of me. So, oh, I don't want to get hit by his banana, but hit the wall anyways. <sighs> so these guys looks like they're going to get the best of me on this race. Third place still isn't a bad finish, but the race isn't over. We still have a small chance to catch up here if we can get a good item. Three green shells. I think he's going to lose a lot of it up to me. Oh, shoot. I managed to stop him, but then I hit the hammer. We held third place, though, so that's not too bad. Can't complain about a third place finish when you're racing against live players online. Um, anything in the top four, I would say, is doing pretty good. Top six uh, is doing all right. But yeah, like I thought, there's not... I am the highest rated person in this lobby right now, so I should uh, I should push myself to do a little bit better, try to stay in first and second at least, since uh, I have the most points. Um, let's go, we'll go ahead and do Toad Harbor, not too, it's a good track. Um, I don't mind doing Cheap Cheap Beach either, that would be fine with me. Seems like those are the two tracks that everybody voted for, so it was going to be one or the other. So let's see if we could hopefully do a little bit better than third place. First or second would be nice. Excuse me as I scratch my nose. It's like a nervous twitch being on camera and you got to scratch your nose. Not the most attractive thing to do. But what can you do? And so, as you guys can see, I don't think I talked about it too much yet, but I am using Metal Mario. And I have him on uh, this bike, which I don't know exactly what this bike is called. But it's a pretty standard uh, bike. And I'm using the pretty standard wheels on it. Oops. At least we hit that corner just enough to pull us back onto the track. A lot of people like to race up. I like to go down. Let's see if we can get that item. Just because maybe we can get two items in this part right here by grabbing another one right here. Got ourselves some banana, so somewhat, somewhat of a defensive item. Come around this little guy. Should have grabbed some points, but we're at 10 points, so we're doing okay on that part. I'm trying not to swerve too much as we're going down the straightaway, but. Got into the grass a little bit there, but not too bad. Oh, I should have left the banana right there on that ramp. That would have been a good one. Not thinking too much while well, I'm just trying to play and talk. Oops. Go ahead and bail out from trying to go that way. That's one of the routes that I'm trying to practice because I don't usually take it, and so that's why I mess it up a lot. So when I'm in first place and I'm just kind of cruising, or if I'm Know, playing on my own and I'm not on video or whatever, I do try to take that route as much as possible, just trying to get used to it and better at doing it, since I do believe that it is kind of a faster route. So we have the red shell take away our banana there, which isn't 
too big of a deal. Grab those coins. Hopefully we don't get hit by nothing as we try to jump across these ramps. Jumped a little early. We got another banana to protect our neck. Try to come up here and get the item, even though we don't need it. I just want to practice getting it. Alright, so we did that a little more successfully this time. And this is kind of more of the race that I was expecting with such a low rated lobby. Again, there's nothing I can do about the people who jump into the lobby. Not lobby cruising before the video or anything like that. Just whatever we get is what we get. Hopefully, we'll get some uh, really tough racers in upcoming videos and things like that. See me get destroyed a little bit would be nice. But so far, I think we have what two first place finishes and a third place finish. So that's not too bad. That very first first place finish isn't too much to brag about because there was only five racers. But five racers are five people trying to beat you. So. Uh, can't complain too much about it. And the game's just kind of loading, catching up. So this race we have 10 racers again. Um, a really big actually point difference in between me and the next highest points, which I thought I saw was 2200 maybe, 22? 22 or 23, something like that. So it's 500, 600 point difference. Definitely going to vote for Wario Stadium. Again, I really like the dynamic tracks ones with a lot of sharp turns and jumps and just cool things that switch up the race a little bit and it looks like we're going to get the opportunity to do it and I think this is race number four for this video so we'll do a uh, couple more we'll try to do six for this video keep four at least a standard um, but since it's our first Mario Kart 8 video back for Mario Kart 8 online we're gonna try to make it a little bit special Ooh, those guys had a good jump on them. They must have a higher acceleration compared to my faster top speed. That dude's got a banana, which is not good for me being right behind him. Okay, and this is part of the reason that I like this one. It's just because of all these parts that look really cool as you're going through them. I think that dude hit a banana. <laughs> Bad luck for him. Um, all these like boost ramps and things that you got to take in consideration. These fireballs spinning around at the edge of the turn. Homeboy wasted his uh, horn, it looked like. Maybe he thought I was closer to him than I was. But so far, he's racing a pretty good line. I don't see him. Oops, I made a little mistake right there. Just all saying, I didn't see him make too many mistakes. I'm making no mistakes. But hopefully, we can catch up to. Uh, I'm not too sure if that would be like Mark Leo SS or Marcelo. I'm not too sure. Interesting interesting name for sure. Can we get him on this part? Let's launch out there and see if we can slow him down right after the boosts. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect place to slow him down. And we managed to get something to defend ourselves from whatever item he picked up. So I'm cool with that. Come through around this turn. Nice and easy. Hopefully we can get all three of the boosts on this one. This is probably the three hardest boosts to get on this level. And then I like to mess up that boost, but we got it right there. Here comes red shells. So we're going to need another defensive item pretty quickly here. We got the signal that we are on the third and final lap. There we go. Now we're getting ourselves up to top speed. Another item to protect ourselves. Please, something good. Oh, just a coin. Not going to give us any defense, so we're coming up to the last, I would say, like third of the track. So I really don't want to get hit. See, like right about here, right where I don't want to get hit by stuff. Oh, wow. See, they're just going to pick on me because they're like, hey, dude, you can't just start winning the race. Okay, cool. Got some mushrooms. This might help out, but maybe not. Nope, still wasn't enough to catch him up. So we got another third place. Definitely got to say good game to uh, those two gentlemen with their well-timed items to take me out of position for the lead. But uh, third place, we still got plus five. It's not too bad. 
And uh, like I said, we're going to do at least two more races. Just give these uh, give these folks a chance to uh, really drop me down, maybe into sixth or seventh place. Oh, that dude's like, hello. I'll tell them. I'll tell them good game for sure, because they they did get a good one out of me on that one. Um, homeboy over here's just saying hooray. Is I, I usually don't want to make fun of somebody, but uh, something's going on with that me. Something's wrong. Another cool thing is when you're racing on Mario Kart 8 online at night, some of the me's that come out are really really hilarious. I had a the swell opportunity to race with Beavis from Beavis and Butthead the other night. The me looked spot on like Beavis. It was pretty funny. I was laughing out loud to myself the whole time. Just seeing that me racing. He was racing as his me too, so it wasn't like he, his name was just Beavis. Nah, he was racing as the me character. It was Beavis on the Mario Kart track. Really awesome. I think that other dude kind of went off the edge a little bit there. Again, I don't know if that was lag or if he actually did uh, miss it. But it seemed like, it seemed like he missed that turn and he went off the edge. So. That is what happened to him. Sucks to, sucks to be him, but that does slow down a lot. Here's Miguel, jockeying me for my first place position. Oh, I hit the sign. Got somebody behind me, but I hit the sign when I was trying to throw the banana in front of Miguel. Not always the safest thing to throw your defensive item in front of you to try to hit the person in the first place, but I really wanted to Oh, he was the one that got the boost that time. I forget about that boost because you can't really see it when you're coming around the turn. Oh gosh. This green shell is making me drive a little bit crazy trying to avoid him being able to hit me with it. Looks like he's going to hold on to it. Here we go. He did throw it back at me to try to uh, to try to hit me before the uh, my brain. Try to get rid of his his green shell before the blue shell hit him. Can't blame him for that. Almost hit me, but not quite. Looks like I got somebody with my banana. Oh, and I'm not hitting that boost. That could really cost me if I'm not careful. But luckily, like I said, these road horses, they're kind of like my cup of tea. The handling on them is always great. Oh, I was hoping to get a defensive item and let it out. Instead, I used the coin that would have gave me a nice little boost too soon. I should have waited till after I got hit. But somebody got hit by another banana and we still managed to hold first place. And I think we're going to do uh, just one more race, but thank you guys if you made it all the way to the uh, final race here coming up, our next race. Then I really want to uh, thank you guys for watching all of that part of the episode. Hopefully you enjoy the last race that we're going to do here. Hopefully you enjoyed the whole video. Um, definitely leave a uh, comment, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to my channel. We're going to go for Donut Plains 3, a Super Nintendo track. Uh, a track that has my heart deep because again, it's a retro track from one of the Mario Kart games I grew up playing. It looks like our lobby's gone down to just uh, six people again. Uh, it looks like we're going to do Mount Wario. Um, Again, a really cool track, but I still struggle with this track at times, too, so I wouldn't be surprised to to finish in sixth place on this race, to be honest with you, just because of the, the track, but I'm never afraid of a challenge. I definitely do the best I can. Uh, hopefully, I do better than what I predict. Oops, nope, see, I already kind of messed it up putting myself really close into that 6th place that I was thinking I was going to be in, so... Let's see, here, he's going for the top route, I'm going for the bottom, should have probably went for the top because I always hit that stupid thing at the end of that turn. Alright, so we got a couple more points than he did right there at least. Can we grab some boost off of each other? You want to work together, guy? There we go. Oh no, why am I the one going to get hit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on down here. Oh gosh, this is what I'm talking about. I, I do my best to mess up this track. For sure. 
Alright. Still in position on the second part of the race here. Can I get hit with that? No. And I can't keep myself from getting hit by stuff either. Here comes another red shell. Luckily, oh, oh, here it comes anyways. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's really what I wanted. All I wanted was to get hit by red shells. Oh, and boomerangs. That was a good boomerang shot. Alright, we got a little boost here. Not completely in sixth place yet, but we're working on it. Alright, let's see if we can hold on to this until after we get out of the trees here. Oh, almost hit that tree at the end. Catch a couple extra boosts. Oh, we're going really fast. Okay, that was bad. We're going a little bit too fast. Here comes the star guy. He's probably going to want to hit me. Didn't get a chance. Here we are, sixth place, just like I predicted. Oh, hopefully they use up all of their shells on themselves. Oh, gosh. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm coughing from the excitement. Alright, he hit the wall a little bit. I still couldn't pass him. Oh, and I didn't get an item. That's the end of my raid. Sixth place. Because I got no item to try to get me any better than that. Uh, no. Not gonna do it. So, like I said, at least I know my weaknesses. Um, that track is one of them. Gonna drop us back under 2,900, but that's okay. I had to lose one race. I mean, really, it wouldn't be too good. Uh, the dude with the smallest score, I think, got first place, so congratulations to him. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my fifth episode of Mario Kart 8. We're gonna go ahead and leave this group, um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you on another video.